Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get MAME up and running on your PC. Now in this video, we're gonna be covering coin-op and arcade machines that don't require CHDs. We're also gonna be using LaunchBox to import them all. LaunchBox is my favorite front end for Windows. If you haven't heard of it, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It's free to use, but they do offer a paid version, which allows you to use big box mode. In my opinion, it is the best front end for Windows. Now I'm on Windows 10 here. You can do all of this without LaunchBox. You can run these games directly from MAME or MAME UI, but I prefer using LaunchBox with all of this because we're gonna get our box art, and if you really wanna get down into it, buy the premium version of LaunchBox, and you can use big box mode. So like I mentioned, this video is gonna cover coin-op and arcade machines that don't require CHDs. I do plan on doing more tutorials in the future. The next one will be consoles and home computers, and then we'll move on to the big one, arcade and coin-op machines that require CHDs. The first thing you're gonna need is a ROM main set. Now I suggest going and finding the 0.196, that's the latest as of making this video, but if you have to grab 0.185, it's totally fine. There's a few extra games in the newer main sets. I can't tell you exactly where to get them, but if you do a search on archive.org, you can find everything you need. This pack here has been updated from 0.185 to 0.196. It is 59.6 gigabytes. If you really want to get into MAME, I would definitely go ahead and pick up a two terabyte hard drive, maybe even larger. Now this set here that we're going to import is 59 gigabytes. The next few videos, the packs get a little bigger. The coin-op and arcade machines pack with everything you need to get running with CHDs is close to 500 gigabytes. You can also find that on archive.org. So we're gonna be using MAME UI. You can also use MAME itself if you'd like to. I just really like using MAME UI. It's something that I've grown accustomed to using. This way, if you don't wanna use LaunchBox, you can always launch all of your games from MAME UI very easily. We're gonna head over to their website real quick and download MAME UI. If you download an older MAME ROM set, it's still gonna work with the latest version. So let's say you have 0.185. You can use MAME UI 64 version 1.96 on that. It's gonna work fine. You just won't have the newer games that were added to the newer packs. We're gonna download MAME UI 64. It's gonna take a little while. Their server's kind of slow, I'm not sure why. Now, if you really want to get into just MAME UI without LaunchBox, you can download the Snapshots packs and Icon packs, but you'll also have to download the DAT files. I'm not going to cover that because we're going to be importing everything into LaunchBox, and LaunchBox is going to handle all of our box art and videos for us automatically. So now we have MAME UI downloaded. It is a 7-zip file. You can extract it by right-clicking, 7-zip, Extract to MAME UI 64. I'll leave a link to 7-Zip in the description. WinRAR will also work. I'm gonna open this in its own window, MAME UI, open in a new window. I'm gonna snap it over to the left-hand side, and I'm also gonna open up my MAME ROM set here. We have a folder called ROMs. All of our games are inside of here. They need to stay zipped. All we're gonna do is take our ROM set and place it right in the same directory as MAME UI. There's already a folder called ROMs. We're just gonna kind of merge those together. So we'll just put it right here. It's gonna copy everything over. 59.6 gigabytes, so it might take a little while. All right, so I have all of my ROMs inside of my MAME UI 64 directory under ROMs. All we need to do now is start up MAME UI. Like I mentioned, if you don't want to use LaunchBox, you can launch everything from MAME UI, but we're going to import them. I just want to show you what MAME UI looks like before we move over to LaunchBox. So here's MAME UI. If you want to download the snapshots, you can. You can also download the icons pack. Your snapshot will show up over here. You can go ahead and start launching your games from MAME UI. I'm just going to search for a very simple one, The Simpsons. 
As you can see, there are a ton in here and that's really why I'm gonna be using LaunchBox. It's gonna sort out everything for us. It's not gonna import the clones or anything. It's gonna import the games that we wanna play. Here's the two player Simpsons version, World Set 1. You can play it from here. Just double click. It's gonna start up MAME. Now as for a controller, you can pretty much use any USB controller, but I suggest using like an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One controller. I'm using an Xbox One S Bluetooth controller now. We need to set up our controller here. We're gonna press tab on our keyboard. Now if we go into here, we can set up our one player controls, two, three, four, all the way up to 10 players. I wanna to return to the previous menu because I only wanna set up this certain input for this machine or this game. Input this machine. Player one, up. We wanna set this up. You can use your analog or D-pad. You can either hit enter on your keyboard and then set the corresponding key on your controller. It's really simple to do. Down, left, right. This only has two buttons for player one. I'm gonna set this to A and I'm gonna set this to B. You can set up your second player if you'd like to, but this is really important. Your player one start. This is just gonna be my start button. Coin, this is gonna be my select. Now, if I back out of here by pressing escape, I can now put some coins in. Just put in a few coins, press start. We can start playing the game here. So that's pretty much it. You're set up, you're ready to play MAME through MAME UI. But I wanna import these in the launch box, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We're gonna exit MAME UI. We're gonna go ahead and close it down. Let's start up launch box. Now we need to add the MAME emulator. Tools, manage emulators, we wanna add. Emulator name, you can name it MAME or you can come to the drop down here, MAME. Emulator application path. Now since we're using MAME UI, we're gonna choose MAME UI and the location. Browse, mine's on my secondary hard drive here in a folder called MAME, MAME UI, and we wanna find the EXE, MAME UI 64.exe. Double click. Associated platforms. It's already set to arcade, so we really don't need to do anything here. Just make sure default emulator is checked. Auto hotkey script. We don't need to add anything because MAME is already set up to press escape on your keyboard. It'll shut it down for us. Click OK and close. Now it's time to import our games. We're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the import wizard. Go ahead and read through all of this before you start clicking next. Just make sure you understand why you're clicking next. We're gonna add that full ROMs folder that we placed inside of our MAME UI folder. So I'll go add folder. I'm gonna find my MAME UI. It's on my secondary hard drive. In a folder called MAME, it might be in a different place for you. MAME UI 64, we wanna find ROMs. Now, since there's close to 30,000 files inside of here, it might take a second after you click on it. Give it time. It's scanning that folder for us. Click OK. LaunchBox will automatically scan through that folder, find all the playable games, and import them for us. That's why we only added a folder and not files. Click Next. What platform are you importing games for? Uncheck Show Default Platforms and type in Arcade. Click Next. Choose an emulator. MAME should automatically be chosen. If it's not, you gotta drop down here. Next. Would you like to move or copy the files? Now, if we move the files into our LaunchBox directory, it's gonna keep it portable, but it does take a little longer. So for this video, I'm just gonna use them in their current location. If I don't move them from where they are, LaunchBox will always know where it is, and play the games. If you end up moving your games, you may need to re-import. So it is good practice to either place them in your LaunchBox folder or copy the files into your LaunchBox games folder. I'm just gonna use them in their current location because I'm trying to save time. Would you like to download metadata for your games? I leave both of these checked. 
search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database, and search for and download metadata from Wikipedia. Both of these stay checked for me. Click Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes, we would. That's one of the main reasons we're using LaunchBox. I'm going to leave everything checked here. Next. There's another option for downloading media with LaunchBox, and that's EMU Movies. It is free to use, but they also offer a donation option. At least go sign up for their website. You'll have to sign in here. You can download a lot of stuff that the LaunchBox Games database doesn't have just yet, like videos and music. It's totally worth it. Leave everything checked. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Nope. As soon as we click Next, we're going to get this awesome little import wizard here. How would you like to import your main games? So it's going to automatically default to skip clones and prioritize this region, North America. You can choose Europe, Japan, or World. Now, when I imported World, it was 2,000 games. I usually stick with World. You can also import Originals and skip the clones, or import all clones. I stick with this option here. Skip clones and prioritize the world region. Down here, we can skip hack games, skip prototype, skip tabletop, skip rhythm, casino. I'll never play these fruit or casino games, so I leave them all checked. I want to skip them. Click next. Give it a second to parse the files. Here's the name of the game that we're going to be importing. The location and the extension. They should all be zips. Click Finish. There's a progress bar at the bottom. Now I'm importing about 2,000 games so it could take a little while. Make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep and just let it sit. Let it finish up. It really depends on how many games you're importing. Since I'm doing 2,000 right now it has to download all of the artwork, all of the box art, all of the videos. If you want to import just a few you can also do that, but I wanted the full collection. All right, so my 2,000 games were imported successfully. As of right now, I have 1,730 games in total imported into this LaunchBox build. Click OK. I'm up to 3,719. We'll go to Arcade. So it just imported all of these main games. Now you might run across some that don't have front box art. You can always change the image type here. Say screenshots. Most of these should have screenshots, as you can see. But if you want the box art, which most of these games didn't have box art really anyway, kind of flyers and things like that, you can go to View, and you can hide games missing front box art. So we'll go to View, Hide Games Missing Front Box Art. Now it's going to scan the games, find the games that are missing front box art, and hide them from view. Just makes everything a little cleaner. You can always go through and manually add box art or front flyers, whatever you want to call them, to each game. It does take a little while, but you always can take the time and do that. Now LaunchBox automatically created playlists for us also from all of those games. Capcom Classics, Capcom Play System 1, CPS2, CPS3, Cave, Data East, all of these here. I just like going to Platform, Arcade. It's now time to play. There's a lot of games to choose from, and that's pretty much the main problem with MAME. Just so much to choose from, so many games to play in so little time. I'm going to try to find something. I mean, here's Battletoads. Uh, there's just so much to go through. Big fight, big trouble in the Atlantic Ocean. Never played this. We're going to double click. It's going to start MAME. There are known problems with this machine. Imperfectly emulated features. Graphics. So there might be some graphical glitches in here. Has nothing to do with LaunchBox. It's MAME. They might fix this in the future. They might not. We'll press a key. And we're ready to play Big Fight. We need to set the controller up for this machine here. Press tab on your keyboard. You can always set input general if you'd like to, but I suggest inputting for this machine or this game. 
relatively easy to set up. My joypad is already set up for my Xbox controller. It has three buttons that we need to set up. So we have kick, punch, block. I'm just saying that I'm not sure exactly what buttons we need to set up here. But we have three buttons, so I'll do that one as A. This one is B. And this one as X. We also need to set up one player start and one coin select. Now you can go through with your four controllers, set up four controllers if you'd like to, but I just want one player. I will return to previous menu, return to machine, press select. It's gonna insert some coins. We'll go mission mode, press start, and I'll choose a character. I'll choose gear. Oh yeah, so we got punch, jump, and I guess I can jump and kick? I'm not sure what the other button's for. There may be a special in here somewhere. Like I said, I've never played this game, so I can't really tell you. Doesn't look too great, but there might be somebody out there who has this on their favorites list. You never know. We're going to back out. I'll just press escape on my keyboard, or if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation and press your hotkeys to exit. That's pretty much it, guys. You now have a ton of games imported in a LaunchBox. Get some time, sit down one day, and play the heck out of them. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you got MAME set up, at least for the coin-op and arcade machines that don't require CHDs. I will do two follow-up videos, one for arcade and coin-op machines that require CHDs, and one for home computer systems. The main thing you need for MAME is the ROM set. 0.185 will work for now. It is the easiest to find. Check out archive.org. If you guys could, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more great content, and like always, thanks for watching.